Hey everybody, we're here at South by Southwest. It is wild and crazy. There are food trucks everywhere and uh, we're really excited to cover the show. But the most interesting thing that happened to me so far today is I received this new Retina 13 inch MacBook Pro. It is fancy because it's way, way faster. It's got a, a faster SSD, but the biggest deal about it is this new trackpad. It is the force touch trackpad that you can force click on and it's crazy. So the reason the force touch trackpad is cool is old trackpads you'd actually like physically click down on a button. This is just one big force sensitive button thing. So when the computer's off and you, you click on the, the touchpad, literally you don't feel anything. It, it's like just a static glass pad. It's when you turn it on and then the software is enabled that you feel a click. So it can tell how hard you press down on it. And rather than actually clicking a thing, it has an electromagnet inside it. And as you press on it, it clicks to give you that feedback. And it totally works. When I tried it at Apple's event, I was like, oh yeah, it's just a trackpad, whatever. But I didn't realize just how crazy it is that you're not actually clicking anything, it's clicking back at you, um, which is nuts and fun. So you can do a bunch of weird things with it. One of the big things you can do that I really like is you can force click down on a word and it will give you a dictionary definition for it. You can also force click on addresses and it will pop up a preview or a, a map preview of that address. If you force click on an icon on the dock, it gives you an expose preview of all of that app's windows, which is pretty neat. Um, another cool thing in Safari, if you force click on a link, it actually pops up a preview of the web page that it links to. And uh, the thing that Apple showed off at its event, which I'll show you here, is you can also force click on a video on the fast forward and rewind buttons. And that will speed through at different speeds depending on how hard you press down. Now this is actually, it takes a while to get used to because you really jam all the way down through to the bottom if you're not careful. But if you're sitting down and you can have a nice light touch on it, you can actually adjust your you know, scrubbing speed relatively easily. Uh, it's pretty neat. So because the click is actually driven by software, it's not a real click, there's software settings for it. So if you go into preferences, you can see there's this thing that's called lookup data detectors. And basically what they've done is they've replaced all the old three finger clicks with a force click. You can also adjust the click pressure. So light is like you feel a very soft click and then it's very easy to press down on it. Uh, firm is obviously on the opposite end and you feel a really strong click, you can actually hear it. So that's the force touch trackpad. It's pretty great. I don't miss the old trackpad basically at all. Uh, the new features, you can use them, you can leave them, but it feels great. It feels nice to click on and it's nice that Apple's doing all these small little refinements. Now, of course, we're going to do a full review of this thing, but we just wanted to play around with the trackpad because it's so neat. And it's neat to see that Apple's putting force sensitivity on a bunch of products. It's on this, it's on the new super thin MacBook. Uh, we've got force sensitivity in the Apple Watch, and maybe we'll see it on an iPhone someday. I actually think that would be pretty great.